I'm keeping this exhibit up. Can we please do a split screen and also pull up defendant 713, which has already been admitted? Ms. Hurd, you testified yesterday. This is also a photograph of you from the same night, correct? That is correct. You testified yesterday that the only difference between these two photographs is that the light was turned on. That's what it appears to be, yes. The light is on in both of these pictures, though. Isn't that right? It looks to me like the one on the left has the vanity light, the makeup lights, you know, the more yellow-hued ones that go around the mirror on, and then the one on the right looks like it doesn't have those. That's what it appears to be, yes. Is there actually a difference between the two of these photographs? Let's find out. What's up guys, it's Landy here. I'm a photographer and today I'm gonna to be examining if it's the same photo or not. By the way, I really haven't kept up with the trial that much, but this kind of piqued my interest because it has to do with photos. So I'm on my editing computer now. There's a few ways we can examine two photos to see if they're the same. The first way is through an image overlay, which I'm gonna do in Photoshop now. This was the best version that I could find. I'm sure people that know a bit more about the legal system could probably find the original version. So we have these images almost overlaid identically now. We see very little variation in terms of the actual lighting. When we look at details in the hair, like these, this strand of hair on the top right corner, this strand of hair in the bottom center, these strands of hairs on the top left corner, we see little variation. Also, when we look at a photo, we can look at certain sources that light reflects off of to determine if it's the same photo or not. Um, skin is actually not the best determinant of this. Um, jewelry is a really good one because metal reflects light and picks up little discrepancies in the angle of light reflected much better than skin does. Looking at her earrings and at her necklace, it doesn't appear any variation in the way that light is reflected. Looking at image overlay and looking at two images side by side, you're basically looking for the same things. You're looking for any discrepancy in the pictures. And let's see if we can make them look the same. Before I start to make them look the same, it is important to point out that this photo was taken in 2016 with, I believe, a smartphone. White balance is one of those things that is actually one of the most likely things to be inaccurately represented in a photo. White balance, especially under artificial lighting, can change. Uh, although by 2016, most smartphones have worked out white balance to quite a good degree, the reality of what her face looks like may be somewhere in between these two photos. We don't know for certain. So first thing I notice is that second photo is more saturated. So we're going to turn up the level. <laughs> I think that did it. I think that's all it took. 55% saturation. Let's... All right, I thought I was gonna have to do more work. <laughs> I'm almost spot on, all right. They appear to be very identical. So yeah, that's literally it for this video, super short video. I was just curious, just like way too easy.